Today, the world's car fleet, according to the most conservative estimates, exceeds 1.5 billion vehicles. At the same time, the total number of electric vehicles is only 0.7% of the mentioned indicator. The paradox is that electric cars appeared earlier than vehicles with an internal combustion engine. However, the lack of critically important technology in the 1840s did not allow the potential of such vehicles to be unleashed. As a result, the market went entirely to ice-powered cars. Times are changing and right now electric cars are successfully expanding into the vastness of the transport industry. Welcome to Innovative Techs. Learn why Norway is leading the way in electric vehicle sales as well as leading the electric passenger car revolution. Welcome to Norway, home to Easter detectives, Jante Law and incredible landscapes. One of the richest and most developed countries in the world which stands guard over advanced technologies, progress and environmental initiatives. This small state, home to about 5 million people, sets the trend in many areas of human activity, as its GDP per capita is higher than in the USA, Canada and Japan. Not surprisingly, Norway is one of the locomotives of the electric revolution in the transport sector. Even petroleum, which is the foundation of the economy, did not prevent the achievement of such outstanding results. Norway is among the top 10 countries that are the largest exporters of black gold in the world. But all this does not prevent local residents from being sensitive to nature and actively contributing to the development of a carbon-neutral economy. Norwegians began to look closely at electric cars back in the mid-70s. This period is now referred to as the concept phase, referring to the emergence of prototypes on the local market and the introduction of government programs aimed at developing advanced electric motors. During that time, there was a serious interest in alternative fuel cars arose in Norway. In the 70s, the cost of registering a vehicle was comparable to the price of the car itself. Buyers of electric cars were freed from the need to pay the mentioned fee and additional concessions such as free parking and tax cuts for corporate vehicles, which were only increased public interest. Remember, electric cars were then very far from perfect and often caused more trouble than good. The next stage started in 1999. In fact, this year was considered to be the birth year of the Norwegian electric vehicle market. Local manufacturers of equipment and large players such as Ford Motor Company began to appear in the country. According to this, the VAT exemption 25%, the emergence of the Electric Drive Transportation Association, and the founding of the state organization Transnova back in 2009. Its main task was to actively develop the network of charging stations. All this led to a real boom in the electric car market in Norway. In 2013, the third and final stage of the expansion of transport using alternative fuel cells started in the country. This is directly related to the technological revolution that Tesla has made. A significant increase in performance, along with a constant decline in the cost of electric cars, led to the fact that local manufacturers of such cars died out and large companies took their place. When we talk about Elon Musk's electric cars produced in 2012 to 14, we realize that the concept of cheapness is not entirely appropriate here. The first Model S's cost over $100,000, and that doesn't really fit in with the idea of an affordable car. At the same time, the first Roadsters cost even more. However, despite the cost, the mentioned electric cars in terms of their technological level and equipment are as close as possible to modern ice-powered cars. This factor, combined with the high paying capacity of the Norwegians and tax breaks, played a decisive role in the new transport boom. In 2012, the share of electric vehicles accounted for about 3% of the total number of sales. In 2020, this figure was 54.3%. Add plug-in hybrids here and we get an even more impressive result, which will exceed the 75% mark. Thus, Norway became the first country in the world where alternative fuels took a dominant position in the market. What car makes and models are in greatest demand in the Northern Kingdom? Surely, many believe that the American giant represented by Tesla has taken over the market, but actually, it has not. For instance, last year the sports crossover Audi e-tron became the most popular car among electric cars. The Tesla Model 3 came in second 
followed by cars such as the Volkswagen ID3 and Nissan Leaf. Another popular car in Norway is the hybrid version of the Volkswagen Golf, which is in great demand here. According to preliminary estimates, by the end of 2021, all electric cars will account for about 65% of the Norwegian car market. This is a phenomenal indicator that demonstrates the commitment of the local population, and importantly, the authorities, to a rapid transition to transport with alternative energy sources. By 2025, the country is eager to completely abandon the purchase of ICE cars, replacing them with electric cars, plug-in hybrids, and hydrogen fuel cell cars. Here, it is necessary to note, once again, the long-term subsidization of the innovative type of transport by the Norwegian leadership. Tax and administrative concessions, which began to appear back in the 70s, survived and significantly increased. All this together made buying and owning a car with an internal combustion engine in Norway much more expensive than buying and maintaining an electric car. While the country wants to give up most of the benefits over time, the point of no return for internal combustion engines seems to have passed. The citizens of this kingdom do adore electric cars and enjoy using them. The secret to the success of electric vehicles in Norway is simple. The high purchasing power of the population, commitment to sustainable modes of transport, and a relatively small car market. Besides, Norwegians truly strive to achieve unity with nature and contribute to a brighter future for planet Earth. It is for this reason that there is no doubt that the Northern Kingdom will not only be able to completely abandon the purchase of new cars with internal combustion engines by 2025, but also receive the status of a carbon-neutral state in 2030, completely transferring the economy to new rails. Which electric car do you prefer? Please share your opinion in the comments below this video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press thumbs up if you like the video. You're on the Innovative Techs. See you soon. Take care.